Today I'll be showing you how to do a easy leopard print nail design. Hi everyone, I've been dying to do this video ever since I got my Del Sol nail polishes this winter. Um, but I live in Wisconsin and it's freezing cold out and these colors change into different colors in the sunlight. I sure as heck was not going to use them and say, hey, let's go outside in the sun and see what my fingers look like and then get frostbite. <laughs> So um, I've been dying to, for warm weather, and finally it's warm weather, so I can use these, and we can see what they look like in the sun and not risk frostbite. Um, so let's get into the video. I have here my Del Sol collection. It comes with a nail oil, a base coat, the color of your choice, which right here is Foxy, and a top coat. And I'll be using Orange You Glad, Glitz and Glam, After Party, and Don't Be Jealous. For the spots around the leopard spots, I'll be using my Wave Gel Matching Set in Clean Slate, which is black. Wave Gel sells um, matching sets of nail polishes, so you can get one gel nail polish and one regular nail polish. I'll be using the regular nail polish today, and I will be preparing my nails with Chip Skip. This is just to clean off any nail oils and help the base coat adhere to my nail better. I will also be using um, my Uber Mat to keep my work surface clean, and I'll be using these two dotting tools, um, my really large one and my thinner one, and you can purchase these on eBay, and I will be um, using tin foil to um, drip the nail polish on, that way I can just throw it away when I'm done, and on the glitter nail polishes, I will be applying them with these little eye makeup applicators, um, because these glitters have a lot of base in them and not too much glitter. So I want to get as much glitter as I can. So I don't have to have like six coats of nail polish on each spot. I've already applied the chip skip and the base coat. And the base coat is dry so now I'll be applying my spots. I'll be applying each spot separately so that it doesn't dry up on the tin foil. Now the orange does have to build up. You do need to um, spot it a few times to get a good heavy color. And I'm just randomly placing the spots on my nails. Now I'll be applying the pink, which is Foxy. And now I'm ready to apply after party. I'm going to apply Glitz and Glam. Then I'm going to apply Don't Be Jealous.
Okay, now when this dries, I'm going to go through and do um, another top, another coat of each color, especially on the glitter. So I'm going to build up the color and then I'll come back. Now I do have three coats of the glitter to make it um, as dense color as I could and only two coats of the, um, the shimmery ones. And then to make the leopard spot, all you do is you create a series of brackets or little C shapes around the design. I'm using a very fine tip because you don't want too much black around the edge. You just want to accent it. This is a very simple design to do. And then with the edges, um, the free spots, you can just put little dots of black. And they don't have to be round or anything like that because you know, leopards aren't perfect, perfectly spotted. So I'm going to do that with all of my nails and then I'll come back. When the design is completely dry, to smooth it out and protect your design, you're going to apply a top coat. And you're going to apply one coat very lightly, not to smear the design. And then you can go back and you can apply a second top coat. Okay, and here they are, all finished. And this is the indoor lighting. And now I'll go out into direct sunlight and we'll see what colors they change to. And here's what they changed to being out in the sunlight. You can see that the, the blue is now green. The pink is now a darker purple. Orange is kind of a reddish orange. Very fun. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it the thumbs up and subscribe. I see Gucci back there. Gucci, come say hi. This is my little dog Gucci and I'm pretty sure she's in the background of a couple of videos now. I just noticed her back there. She's probably thinking I'm crazy talking to the camera. But um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe.